the best of both worlds. My mom is the only deaf person in a hearing family and my dad is one out of many deaf. When I first told my friends or classmates that my parents were deaf, their first reaction was always, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And then I'd have to be like, no, deaf, like they can't hear. And then they would be like, oh, oh, deaf. But you said dead. I'm like, no, no, no. When I was young, my mom found out that I was deaf. And when they were deciding what to do, and of course they didn't want to learn sign, they just wanted to focus on oral speech but that just really wasn't working for me. The communication was faulty. So they became frustrated and finally decided to go ahead and take an ASL class at a local church. And they just start, went every Sunday and they started picking it up and developing their skills at the same time learning English. So there was no, my mom do not, does not know any English, so only Farsi. So when we moved here, I understand I was born in Iran and then we moved here when I was two. Then my mom learned English. Then she learned ASL. It was a tougher experience for my mom to handle, but now everything is fine. Having deaf parents, I was pretty much their personal interpreter. Whenever they needed me, I would always go with them to the bank, the doctors, meetings, things like that. Um, my mom used to pull me out of class whenever she needed me, so I feel like sometimes I missed a lot on my childhood, but at the same time, I really wanted to help out my parents, and I thought it was my responsibility, so I just went along with it. Sometimes my sister will ask me, like, are you okay? Do you want me to interpret for you? Do you understand everything? She does the best she can to make sure I'm included in the conversation, but it is still difficult because my mom and sister both speak Farsi, and they have that relationship with each other, but I do not speak Farsi. So, so I don't think they feel obligated to interpret, but at the same time, they both feel more comfortable speaking Farsi with each other, and that's not language I speak. My mom doesn't know English as well, so I have to remind them, like, can you translate that back into English for me? Um, and the typical response is, I'll just tell you later, I'll just tell you later. Um, oh, I'm sorry, interpreter error. They, tend, they usually don't feel obligated, and they never say, I'll just tell you later, and they will actually go ahead and translate from Farsi back into English for me. I think I picked up more on English and talking rather than sign, and it was really frustrating for my parents, and so they they really wanted me to pick up on ASL, so I think at some point in my life I spent less time with my hearing family, and so there was a little bit of a argument or like war going on about how much time I should spend with which culture. There are three cultures that you can see at my graduation party. My mom's friends, my friends, and then you could actually see the Iranian people circled around and the deaf people circled around in their own little huddle and the hearing people in their own little huddle. And that was so weird to see at my graduation party and at my birthday party because that was... And I'm sure my wedding is even going to look like that too. So it's just such a funny experience for me every time it does happen. What was most difficult for my parents is trying to understand that I was their daughter, a hearing teenager, and they looked at me more as someone who was more deaf and someone who was the personal interpreter, giving me more commands and things like that. Um, during dinner time, my mom and sister, I'm really good at reading lips, but my mom and sister speak Farsi, and for me, I had no idea what they were saying. So I had to keep reminding them in the room, you know, hi, I'm here. I'm trying to understand, and they had to interpret back and forth. Again, reminding them and reminding them, so that became difficult. Elementary school, that was, well, I was younger. It was really difficult for me to handle because my mom and sister always left me out. They were always having a dull conversation, it felt like. Even though I was in the room, I would ask them, what are you talking about? And they would say, well, uh, I'm busy, and I just sort of felt frustrated, and I would just find my own thing to do, invite my friends over have a party, you know, whatever, uh, to anything I could do to communicate with my own people. But now, I guess I'm older now and I can be part of the grown-up conversation and we can communicate with much less difficulty. When I was young, it, I have no idea how that worked. When I was in high school, you know, I found out about CSUN and their Deaf Studies program and I felt really compelled to come because I felt like that would be my chance to find my niche, to find out the people who had the same passions as I did. And then I, I came here and I felt like I had this weight lifted off my shoulders and I felt so much better and I'm really happy with the choices that I made and I'm able to 
shared my experiences and signed to other people and it was just really cool.